All right, shallow one. I'm gonna start saying bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh shy, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh shy. All praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh shy, Bahashem, Rakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, salutation to you, hopeful, elect out there, teaching the word, truth, sincerity. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Amar. Come back at you with another video. And, um, you know, uh, I just want to get into it real quick, man. Uh, what, is this, what does the scripture say about, um, you know, uh, men that fell out of the truth? All right. And uh, the scriptures are simple. I mean, the scriptures are plain when it comes to, uh, you know, pretty much any topic. But uh, with this topic in particular, like I said, I'm going to get um, at least uh, two scriptures regarding that matter. All right. Um, this is Second Peter chapter 2. Verse um, verse uh, twenty. For uh, if after they have, excuse me, for if the, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Mashiach, in other words, and if um, if it's certain things that you might a situation that you might have got yourself out of, uh, by knowing uh, like you know knowledge of uh, uh, of the scriptures. And how to apply it at that moment is it was because it was because of the, uh, the scriptures, all right, and because of the Lord. But let's see what it say. It say, um, it say they are again entangled therein. You know what I mean? So, like I said, you say you got yourself out of a certain situation, you apply the scriptures, and um, that the wisdom of the scriptures got you out of that situation, and then you got and you got entangled therein with another situation. All right, it's a, an overcome. In other words, now that situation that you got yourself into, you, you got over, overcome by it. It said the latter end is worse with them than the beginning, and 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 the reason why is because um you know you you know you starting to go back into the world, man. All right, because the next verse is gonna go more into it. It says for it had been better for them not to have known the way of the way of righteousness, than after they have known it. To turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them, yeah. So if you was a, a brother in the truth, or you was in the truth for a while, and, you know, you was enduring, fighting a good fight, and then um, you know, for whatever reason, you, you know, the Lord had you turn back, because we understand that this thing is uh, not about us, not about our will, it's of the heavenly Father, and uh, Slakia, and then the whole reason why somebody does turn back is because the Lord wanted them to, and um, you know, if you do turn back, it would, you know. It's, it's it's pretty much uh, all bad from you from there on out, man. All right, that's why that's why the scripture I just read, verse twenty one, it say going back, it say for it had been better for them not to have known, Slaki, like, not to have known the way of righteousness, than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Yeah, man. So it's better that you not even know it, man, because once you exposed to the truth, and you know right from wrong according to the word and according to the heavenly Father. Not according to the world or according to your own way. Once you understand what's right and what's wrong in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, you are now held accountable. All right. And anything you say, like they say in court, it can be, can be, and will be used against you. All right. <laughs> you know that's how the Heavenly Father sees it, man. Once you understand what's right and what's wrong, all right, uh, in His eyes, all right, according to the Word, you know you are now held accountable. All right. That's why I said. <laughs> Like you. That's why the scripture says it's better that you you know you have not known it, man. All right, uh, verse twenty one it says for it is for it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. It's like it has to occupy in the uh, you know the chat in the group chat. It says for it for it for it is ha for it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. All right, and it said and the and the soul and the soul and the soul that was washed uh, to her own to her wallowing in the mire yeah so you know the lord likened you uh, likened you into a dog that was turned to uh to his own vomit and when you and then you actually observe an actual dog do this it's quite disgusting man all right and that's what happened with, you know with, with men that's in the truth man you turn back to those old wretched ways all right those, those old man ways all right it's, it's disgusting right? that's how the lord look at it man like how you look at a dog that 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 uh, if a dog throws up and then he starts to lick, you know his own uh, um, vomit. That's how the heavenly father look at look at uh, us when we turn back to our old ways, or right, that old man. All right, like I said, you look at that dog as being disgusting, repugnant. 
That's how the Heavenly Father look at us, man. If we turn back, man, to the world and start doing the things of the world, man. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, let's get that in Proverbs 21. I think it's 16. Proverbs 21, verse 16. It, hey, the, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. So if you if you a man that's in this truth and you and you wander out of the way of uh, understanding, you gonna remain in the congregation of the dead, man. What's the con congregation of the dead? It's pretty much the two thirds of our people. Two thirds of our people, they in the congregation of the dead, man. They they're liking unto a uh, dead dead man walking, so to speak, man. That's what the Lord said. That's why the Lord said, "Let the dead bury the dead, man." Because you gotta understand, man. We we were we were once, you know. Dead man to the uh, to the way of of life, but now the Lord woke us up. You know we just got to continue on that path. I don't want rotters out, and just to keep pushing, man. Cause there ain't no turning back from here. And this is spirit too. I didn't even want to get. I didn't want to get this. I just quoted it, but the Lord led me to it. Uh, Luke nine verse sixty. I'll start from fifty nine. Um, so like yeah. it said, and he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first. Uh, to go and bury my father. This is this was the Lord Yahusha said, our Lord. Verse sixty. It said Yahusha said unto him, Let the dead bury the their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of Yahweh. And he said, Let the dead bury their dead, man. You know what I mean? Let, like so, he was pretty much saying with Revelation eleven eight and eight. The eighth verse said, man. All right. If you if you ain't walking to the truth, man, you are spiritually spiritually dead, not physically, but spiritually dead. All right, to the true will of the heavenly Father. All right, verse sixty-one. It said, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are um, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So if you put your hand to the plow, in other words, in other words, if you if you started doing this work, and then you look back. And uh, like I said, and, and look back is just pretty much uh, goes into, you know, going back to your old way, your old, uh, you know, old life before you walk up to the truth. That old man, you know, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord is not, you know, he's not going to deliver you in that day. So, you know, like I said, I just, just wanted to make a quick hit, you know, um, going into what, what will happen if you if you look back or, you know, the men that look back into the, uh, um, you know, once they find the truth, man. Like I said, I was just want to make this quick. But with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash. All right. Dumb honors to our apostles, Elders, Great Millstone. Salutations to you, hopeful elect out there, teaching the word of truth, sincerity. All right. Uh, Shalom and the Baba Ball.